Thanks for watching Aquarian Tech today. Today we are going to do a video review on the Fluval E Series heater. Um, I know you guys have seen it, or I hope you have. Uh, I have done a review on the M Series heater, which is Fluval's kind of budget one, which isn't a bad heater. And this is, I guess, supposed to be their premium heater, uh, at least right now. Fluval lately has been coming out with all sorts of new stuff, so. Um, anyways, guys, go ahead and check out my stream when you get a chance. Um, it's at twitch.tv slash CFL underscore Mike. Check that out. Feel free to ask questions and stuff. Let me know that you're on there. Um, it's been working out okay so far. Um, just haven't got a whole lot of people on board, and that's okay. Um, I'm not all that popular, at least not yet. With this heater, uh, one of the big allures of it, I'm sure everybody has seen it, is that it has the LCD screen. Um, I like the LCD screens. If you guys have watched any of my other videos, you know I could you could trick me into buying something, you know, if it has an LCD screen. I love screens. So when I see that on a product, that definitely attracts me to it. So um, I really saw like the pictures and stuff, and even on the box. But the LCD screen in real life on this thing is—it's disappointing to say the least. At least if you're used to seeing the pictures and stuff. The biggest online. knock I have on it is that Fluval kind of advertises that this entire screen area here is kind of lit up and. Although most of it is, it's really not. I don't know if you can see the orange area that's in there. That orange area is actually the box within the screen. Uh, or is actually where the screen is. This plastic area, there's a, there's a lot that's actually not lit up. The screen's actually a lot smaller than they advertise it as. So I was really disappointed on that because this filter, or I'm sorry, this heater it's already kind of an eyesore by design, at least it looks like one. Um, it didn't look as bad in the tank, I was surprised. It kind of blended in better than I thought it was going to. Uh, but, uh, you know, those are basically the two biggest knocks I have on it, is the screen uh, and the way it looks. It's kind of an eyesore, but that's really about all I have to complain with this heater. Uh, other than that, it is an amazing heater. One of the things that surprised me is I, I knew that it had an LED screen. It, it had to be at least a little bit better than the Fluval M series with, uh, you know, the thermostat and stuff. Man, it is just on par. It's, uh, or on point. It is just... It really surprised me with this accuracy. I didn't, I didn't think anything coming from Fluval was going to be this accurate. The temperature settings, I mean, it, I never saw it really fluctuate unless unless it was getting too hot. This uh, The tank I had it on gets a little hot, but uh, as far as keeping it at the right temperature cool-wise, because since this is a heater, um, it was it didn't let it go over a degree more than it was supposed to, to. A degree. That's amazing. I don't know if that's just because of my situation or because of the heater. You know, it's... It did a very, very good job of keeping the temperature where it was supposed to be. And the actual thermometer that's on it, the digital display obviously gives you what it's set at and then what the temperature actually is. Again, spot on, amazing. I, uh, I measured it with the Core of Life, the Core Life uh, little uh, probe things. That gave me the same reading as this. Uh, I had one of the Fluval G filters on it. That gave me the same reading. And those are really accurate. And uh, the I also, of course, these aren't super accurate, but uh, but I used it anyways. It's hard to tell with them, but I had one of those outside sticky thermometers on the tank, and it gave me the same temperature. So this thing is very, very accurate. I was very surprised. Um, another thing that we don't have to worry about that I had a little bit of a problem with the Fluval M series is the bracket. Man. Uh, as you can see, I'm still, I still use this. This is why I have the towel here. It's wet. In fact, I need to clean it. But uh, uh, it was hard pulling it off. I mean, the bracket is, a, I don't know, I guess it's more has to do maybe more with the stu suction cuffs, but it is well designed. Um, the other thing, though, it, it, I mean, it really is the actual bracket itself is well designed because you can actually leave the bracket in the tank. There, you can uh, press these two tabs on the side and see the bracket actually comes off. So... And you can actually fool around with the bracket, and I believe it actually comes with a piece too, where you can actually 
uh, make it so it kind of mounts differently. You can make it so it mounts from the sides rather than just the back, which is really cool. I really dig that. So, De definitely a good design there. Uh, and the other thing too is the bracket kind of slides up and down here and you can kind of lock it into place. There's a, there's a lot of uh, options versus, you know, most heaters uh, with the bracket. And, and the price on this isn't that bad either. The price, um, shoot, I, I don't even remember, but I think it's somewhere in the 50 to $60 price range, which is not bad at all. You're only looking at maybe $20 more than the Fluval M series, and this is definitely a step up. I mean, if you're more worried about looks of the tank, maybe I would still go with the Fluval M series because, I mean, look at this thing. It's big and bulky, but uh, the other thing, too, is all the parts are replaceable. It's obviously got the heater guard, so if you have fish that mess stuff up, well, that's not as much of a problem like you had with the Fluval M series. So um, I haven't really tried using it without the heater guard, uh, so I don't know how you know what the deal with that is but other than that it actually is a glass heater so that is one knock I can kind of give on this I mean we should kind of be getting away from glass heaters but uh, you know that's one of those things it's like uh, you know I don't really know if glass heaters are such a bad thing after all when it comes to you know like exploding heaters and stuff so uh, I mean they're more susceptible to it but at the same time it's less devastating it's it's a hard choice. Generally, I would say try to stay away from glass heaters, but it's, you know, it's not a big deal, you know, so. Just like the Fluval M, it, that was a glass heater. And uh, the one other thing, too, is this goes by half degree increments rather than one, two, three, or even five uh, increments that other heaters go by. It's got this little knob here on the top, and that is actually how you turn the temperature uh, up or down this little knob here which is nice so you can be very precise with how you set your temperature the other thing that I really like too, too that uh, works pretty well is uh, the light here it goes red when your tanks getting too hot it flashes red uh, when it's like way too hot it's green when it's in the right temperature and it turns blue when it's too cold so uh, and that's to what you said, like if you set it at 78 degrees, the tank's at 78 degrees, the light, it's going to be green. If the tank's at 76 degrees and you had it set, set at 78, it's going to turn blue. And, you know, same thing if it went 80, it would turn red. So that's pretty cool. Um, I kind of want to plug it in and show you guys. I'm kind of debating it here. Maybe I will to show you guys the screen and the disappointment I was talking about with it. But other than that, this is, in fact, a heater I could suggest. I mean, I have a couple knocks against it, but... It's definitely a heater I could suggest, and it's definitely accurate. And if you're using it in a sump, I mean, that's amazing because you're getting rid of the uh, eyesore problem. And uh, depending on how your sump's set up, it would be an easy readout, easy way to adjust it. So uh, definitely for sumps, I, I very highly recommend this. Uh, I haven't been using this as long as the Fluval M series. I mean, I've only been using the Fluval E series maybe a year or two. Uh, so... Not as long as an experience, but definitely long enough, I think, to do a, re a review here. So even though this is dangerous, just to please you guys, I went ahead and plugged it in and turned on the LCD screen just so you can look at it. See, now I set the temperature to be really low. And see, now it's saying it's too hot, and now it's in the red. So there's a little demonstration of the heater for you just before I let you guys go. Overall, guys, I can really recommend this heater. It's feature-packed. It's still at a very reasonable price range, uh, and, and, it, and it works, and it's, and it's been reliable for me. So, If you guys have any questions, feel free to let me know. Thanks for tuning in. Check out AmericanAquariumProducts.com. They have the best articles for your mind and the best products for your aquarium.